this is Joe Neville and this is video 3 in my Get Open Switch video series and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build an Open Switch network. Step 1 is to get Open Switch as a Docker image. Now if you don't have um, a suitable Docker image please refer to the first two of my videos in this series. Next we're going to run docker run to create three containers. Then we're going to use docker network to create a couple of networks for connecting up our containers. And then we are going to rename and move the virtual ethernet interfaces that docker network has created. We're going to move those into the open switch namespace on each one of the containers so that open switch can communicate out of its container to its uh, neighbors. Then we are going to configure the open switch network. Now, if you're new to Linux networking, then some of these steps may seem a bit strange, um, but please uh, bear with me. And if you follow along and if you simply copy and paste what uh, commands I've provided, then you'll be able to get a open switch network up and running. I'll put all of the commands in the description and there's a full write up of this on my blog at nullzero.co.uk. So at the Linux networking level, we have two networks that Docker Network creates and that is actually two Linux bridges. So Net101 and Net102. And then we have these virtual ethernet interfaces which are connected from the Linux bridge down into the containers. What we need to do is move those into the open switch namespace and then the open switch nodes will be able to communicate across these VEF pairs and then down to the neighboring uh, open switch device and that allows us so, so that's in that's kind of like a virtualized copper cable between the um, open switches that we can then configure our as normal so that we can ping across this network and we can build uh, protocols across it. So at the open switch level, this is uh, what it looks like. We've got our three open switches, each in different ASs and running eBGP between them. And to prove this network, what I'm going to do is on ops one, I will be able to see in the BGP table, this subnet 192.168.102, and I'll be able to ping from OPS1 to OPS3. So here's my Linux host that we're going to be doing all this work on. First of all, we need to have our open switch Docker image. So check Docker images. As you can see, I'm using the Joe Neville slash OPS uh, repository, which I built today. So next we need to run docker run. You and I here you can see I'm referencing that repository and I'm going to be creating the container ops one here. So we run that. And ops two. And finally three okay so docker ps and we can just put that across docker ps and you can see our containers if we do docker network inspect bridge so this is like the management interface you can see ops one is 172 two is three and three is four Okay, so the next step is that we use Docker Network to create our two networks, Net101 and 102. Here's the command. So, Docker Network create, and there's the name there. Now we do the same for two. And 
and then we need to connect our containers to the relevant network. So these commands are connecting ops1 and ops2 to net 101. Ops2 and Ops3 to net 102. Okay, so if you then check an IP add on our Linux device, you'll see what's actually going on here where we've got two Linux bridges created. So this is one, so this is for the net 101, and another Linux bridge which is 102. And then we have the VF interfaces which are connected to these bridges. So these two are connected to VAE. So that's this one. And these, these two here are connected to 4EE, which is this one. So we have, if I go back to, we have a bridge and then two VF interfaces. And those the other end, because VEEF interfaces always come in pairs, the other end of those are in our containers. So let's move on to our containers. So SSH root, I'll go to ops1 first. Oops, that is dot two I need to be on. IP add, you can see the interface there is ETH1. So what we need to do is move that interface into the open switch namespace. If you want to see the namespaces on the container, you can see there's the open switch one, SWNS. So we need to move that from the default namespace. We need to move this interface, the VEEF pair, into the open switch namespace so that we can communicate out with the Linux bridge and then across to the neighboring um, container. And the important point is that to line up the VEEF interface with the respective interface on the open switch device you have to give it the same name so on the open switch device the port number is one so it's interface one what we do is we give the v pair the same name we give it we just call it one and then that will be the port on the open switch device okay so here are the steps here are the commands. So it's IP link. So we set it down first, then we change the name, and then we move it across. So first of all, I'll go through those slowly. Stop. We set it down. Then we rename it. Then we move it across into the namespace. So if you look now, you can see that it's gone. If one, which will actually be called just one now, is no longer in this default namespace. If you want to look at the interfaces in the namespace, you have to do a namespace aware command. So what we do is IP net ns exec swns so that's that means that we want to run this command the following command we want to run within this namespace and we do an ip add and there it is so you can see that it's moved across so we have that in the namespace now we need to log into our open switch and configure it as normal. So conf t, here's the configuration. I'm going to change the host name. I'm going to go through the whole lot. So standard BGP config. And 
then I'm going to configure my interface. So you notice that it is interface one. Okay, so we we unshut it and we give it an IP address. So that's good for ops one. Come out of there. Back to the Linux host. So we're off of the container now. And now we we essentially do the same across the different the other two containers. So I SSH root at 172.203. So this is going to be ops two. This has got two interfaces on it because it sits in the middle. It's on both subnets. So it's got an ETH1 and an ETH2, which we need to move into the open switch namespace uh, and give it while well, giving it the same um, name as the port on the open switch. So here are the commands for that. So this is for Ethernet 1. Set it down, rename it and move it. And Ethernet 2. Set it down, rename it and move it. Move into open switch. configuration and a few extra steps because we've got two interfaces on there that is our BGP config pretty standard stuff takes it out of here and then we need to so always remember to go back to the Linux host that's the level that you need to be on and then finally we go to ops 3 Same again, it's ETH1 on this guy, so set it down, rename it and move it. Move into an open switch. Configure the interface, configure BGP. Okay, I did say in the introduction I was going to log into Ops 1 and check its BGP table. So we'll go back to Ops 1. Show IP BGP. There you can see it can. So that's actually been learnt via uh, BGP. Let's see if we can ping. So we'll. Ping ourselves, yes. Ping our neighbour, dot two, and now let's try to ping across 192.168.102.2. So I was able to ping, just refer back, so I'm able to ping from Ops 1 to Ops 3. Okay, so. Hopefully you found that useful um, as a guide to a bit of Docker networking and Linux networking, plus how to actually build open switch networks. There's plenty more that can be done with open switch, well, which I'll be um, doing more, many more videos about in the future. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.